Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. My name is Osno Tando, but you can call me Tando. I go by the name Tando M on YouTube. I am the Black Queer on Instagram, and you can follow me on Facebook as well. My name is Notando Tando Elisham No guys, like honestly, I'm missing guys. We have grown as a family. We have guys the T H A N D O gang, the love gang is growing. The love gang is here. The love gang is doing the things, babes. It's doing the the things, babes. You know, I tried to come here and um, just update you guys about my life, basically, but in the form of a Q and A. Yeah. Okay, stretch marks though. Stretch marks though. Like I love them though. I love I love my stretch marks. But yeah, it's it's on. This, today is Sunday. I'm um, around past ten. No, nine past eleven. I'm actually trying to get ready because a salmon is uh, has a tank made today, but she's knocking off at work at 12. So, yeah, she's coming to my place. So, I'm trying to look all cute and nice, you know. Oh, cute. Uh, but it's not what you're thinking. Hold your hearts, hold your thoughts. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, thank you so much for the love. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much to the new subscribers. I appreciate it. Each and everyone, I like appreciate you guys. Like, <gasps> honey, period. I appreciate you guys. But anyway, so today, because guys, guys, um, filming a YouTube video is freaking draining, and I do not have the bath, so it's fine. We don't drink the bath anymore. So I have the bath, and I have water because baby, the questions that I was asked on the gram and on the okay, not too much on Facebook, but yeah. So these questions I was asked on gram and on Facebook. So I'm sorry to the people that I never got to answer their questions because like I did this a long time ago but I, I can't retrieve. I can't I can't guys technology and me and a friend so yeah I'm sorry. I do hope um the road is not disturbing my sound because babes I live by the road and um I live in Johannesburg, GP Street, very busy one. And my oh, my window is open and stuff like that, so I, I hope it's not disturbing the sound. But anyway, but before I get to this video, please do not forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment down below. Tell your girl what do you want to see. Tell your girl what do you want to see on this channel. I'm ready. Like, I'm ready, guys. Like, I'm ready. Like, you're ready, babe. Guys, teach me how to apply this shit. Like, okay, I'm teaching you. Nanya, my dialogue on it. I'm teaching you why. Teach me how to apply this shit. Like, I bought this thing like a month ago. It's, it's, it's still new. I can't apply it. I can't. I can't. But anyway, let's get right into this shine. Number one. What are your fears? What do you fear the most in life? Hey guys. Um, the, something that I fear the most in life is rejection. Rejection. And I feel like that's the only thing I fear in life. I'm a go-getter, I'm a hard worker, I go for what I want, I do things the way that I want to do them. I listen to my heart, I listen to my soul, I listen to my guts, I do things the way you want it, like the way. So, honestly speaking, I'm not really, I don't fear anything except rejection. That is why I was going Shings Miguel. That is why I was going Shing when I got to Johannesburg because rejection was knocking on my door and I'm like, BASE! I cannot handle you. I cannot handle you. But anyway, honestly, that's the only thing that I fear in life. And I also, oh, that's not the only thing. I also fear losing my siblings. You know that I lost my brother. I'm not sure if you know, but I lost my brother last year. And that still haunts me even today. Like, I miss my brother. I want to be with my brother. And, 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 and. I, I, like, um, I, I'm scared of losing my siblings. Um, so, um, are you settling in fine upper at Joseph Babes? Um, now I think I am, I think I'm kinda, yeah, settling in very well. But why didn't you guys, guys tell me on the text with my Anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm settling in like very, very nicely. Now, I'm, I'm literally gonna ask you about Josie, I haven't been there. If you had to choose Johannesburg or Cape Town, um, which one basically and why? Johannesburg. I lived in Cape Town for almost how many years? I don't know. I don't remember. But still, when I'm in Cape Town, I'm, I'm feeling right. Like the crime, 
the people, like everything about Cape Town. Not sure if you know what that is, but so Cape Town for me, even though he has a gap, even though he has a gas and all of that, I can walk everywhere, blah blah blah. But still, I'm, I'm not happy. Like, and and I I'm always looking over my shoulder. So I'm like, I've been living in this place with so much fear for so many years. It's about time I change the scenario. So Johannesburg is is the babe. Oh my God, the fucking road. The jo Johannesburg is the babe. Johannesburg is everything. Um, have you moved to Josie or are you there, Temp? How are you finding it though? I moved here permanently. So I, I'm going to be here from now on. This is my home. This is where I live. Um, how am I finding it? It's, it's not bad. Actually, guys, it's, it's, this is not my first time in Johannesburg. I've lived here before. Remember the incident that happened? It happened here, but in the um, in Randwick side. Um, so it's, it's, I'm not new to a place. I'm not new to the city, but it's a comeback. It's a comeback. But I'm finding it very well. I, I love it. I love the people that I work with. I love everything about Joburg at this point in time. Give me cool, cool. They're taxi drivers. Are trash. It takes the that they drive. They are hokies. They are the cuckoos. They are shacks. It's horrible. Horrible. Horrible with the cap. Twitter hate. But anyway, we move. Um, what made you start a YouTube channel? I do not know. I think the only reason why I started a channel is because I wanted to keep myself busy. And I, I write mostly. I, I love writing and I, I love poetry and I yeah I love singing too but it goes to right I am can like disappear for months so what I, I was doing like past years I was doing a, a, a Facebook diary it was very nice like I, I, I used to enjoy writing it I used to enjoy being within the diary because it was about my life but in a different kind of way of me putting my life I don't know if I'm making sense but the diary was about, about me. It's called She Broke My Heart. So the diary is about me. I, I, I loved and enjoyed it. But the first two years, I was like, my ghostwriter was on, she was on her toes. And then for some reason, my ghostwriter just disappeared. And I always write when I'm feeling some kind of way. And it, honestly, I write when I'm sad or when I'm within my emotions. And if in general, I'm fine, like today, uh, baby, the writing is not gonna happen. The creativity side of me is not gonna happen. It's not gonna go away. It's not gonna be awake. So I'm like, okay, fine. Writing is giving me a bit of problems because the ghostwriter decide when she wanna pop in and pop out. So what else can I do? I love filming. I love um, making videos. I love editing. I love taking pictures. Why not start a YouTube channel? How am I gonna create my content? Dear Papa. I'm all over the place so a content I'm basically was creating but why I don't have to think hard about it I don't have to sit down and plan anything like other youtubers do I'm not a youtuber I'm just a person that sits in front of the camera and talk to the camera and talk to her friends her viewers and not friends her viewers people that watch my channel my subscribers I'm, I'm, I'm you know it, 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 you know it's man I think that's basically I'm not sure if I've answered your question that is why I started my channel because I I wanted to keep myself busy and I think I am creative. <laughs> that was a lot that I just said there, but yeah. Um, why did you move? Um, I moved because I felt like I wasn't growing in Cape Town, and I felt like I was I I kidnapped myself in that space, and I felt like um, Cape Town was just overwhelming for me. So many things have happened in Cape Town. And yeah, I, I felt like Cape Town J was just too much. And like from the get go, when I came to Cape Town, like when I first moved to Cape Town, that year was horrible. Second year, that year was horrible too. Third year was not that horrible, but horrible as well. And but I, I kept coming back for more and more and more and more and more. And I feel like that place in J itself just drained the fuck out of me. I don't know if I've, I'll ever go back to Cape Town and live there permanent. I have friends there. A lot of my friends, I love them so much. I have my sister there, so I I will go to Cape Town, but not to live there. Not sure if I'm making sense, but yes, baby. 
did you believe that your marriage was going to work with long distance i was hoping that no one answers me a marriage question because wow i'm not about to answer that <laughs> Because wow, marriage questions. I don't know where to start about my marriage, and yeah, basically. And, and like, I want to do a dedicated video um, about my marriage, about my relationship. I don't know when I'm gonna do that. I'm not ready yet, but yeah. But I think I'm gonna answer this question. Oh my god, this. I think I'm gonna answer this question though. Okay, so let me just read the question again, just to make sure if I got it correctly. Um, did you believe that your marriage was going to work long distance? I didn't believe that marriage was going to work in the long distance relationship. I also didn't believe that love, my marriage was not going to work in the long distance relationship. But what I believed in was the love that we both shared. What I believed in was um, memories that we both had. You know, and what I also believed was the conversations that we had prior to moving you know so i'm not sure if if this answers your question but that's what i believed so with all of that in one shell in my head my marriage was gonna work because i believe that a marriage should not hold you in one place if you want to fly to zimbabwe and you're married you're more than welcome to you so you even though you're in a marriage and i feel like People need to understand that you need a freedom of being yourself, even though you are married. And you're, you need to get married or you need to, to have a partner that understand or go to when you, you, you are not in a holding cell. You can't be sitting in one place all the time. I don't know how marriage should be. There's no manual for a marriage. But I know how I wanted my marriage to be like. And for me, being in a different space, by myself without my wife was was something that i knew it was gonna happen eventually but i didn't know that things will turn out this way i didn't know that things will like the fuck out of me baby but anyway yeah so I, I i didn't believe it but also i i i believed it i'm not sure if i'm making sense but yeah 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 uh, well, I'm so hyper, guys. Like, I think I'm in nervous because I'm, I'm meeting someone today. Like, I think I'm in nervous. So I'm, like, I'm like this. Okay, anyway, how are you? Oh, sweetheart. I'm fine. I'm okay. Like, honestly, I'm okay. I'm doing fine. I'm doing well. I went back to therapy. I have, ama I have amazing friends. I have amazing, amazing, amazing women on my socials Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Y'all are fucking amazing. I have all of you. So, I am doing good baby i'm doing okay honey and thank you so much for asking um are you seeing anyone i'm seeing you do you see me are we seeing each other right my eyes are not closed <laughs> i cannot comment on that i cannot answer that statement baby how no and who knows Bambi son? And Fudia and Lambis had a question. And who knows Bambi son? Mm. And these are babes. Um, um, ah, uh, uh, no, let's move on. I'm not gonna answer. Are you seeing anyone? Naibo, I see you and you see me. We see each other. Naibo, kid. <laughs> That's for you to find out. <laughs> um, how's Patanyana? Month in. Month in, I'm moving to my own space. God, make it happen. I'm 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 moving to my own space, man, and say the country is open. So yes, man, and just 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 DM me, just DM me. Are you happy with where you are right now? Mm. Career-wise, I see the direction. I'm happy. Soft journey wise, I'm working on me. I'm happy. I'm starting to love myself, appreciate myself, appreciate me, appreciate the thing that I do for me. Um, overall, in order to get to what you think I was, I was gonna get to, no, overall is.
<laughs> I am happy where I am. Honestly, I'm happy where I am. I'm very happy. I'm so fat. I didn't lose my thighs because of the stress and depression. I'm so, yeah, baby. <laughs> because I'm so freaking hyper today. I don't know why. I'm eating sweets. Oh, I didn't. I slept at five o'clock and I was I was I was awake at nine o'clock. So yeah. Anyway, that's it for me today. <laughs> I eat sweet stuff these days. I'm supposed to close this video. Why am I not closing it? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for the love. Thank you so much for the support. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.